that one is. So, what are we doing? Well, this is not the start of the video, let's <laughs> tell you that for sure. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of How Much Stuff Can This Kid Put on This Tacoma? I'm your host, Walter, <laughs> and today we're going to be putting on a dash mount. For a long time, I've been looking for a dash mount system that would work for us that doesn't involve just double-sided tape or, you know, just racks in here that just hold onto the plastic. So what we actually got is the, hold it up for you here. We got the Victory 4x4, full steel mount. You can hear it. And the way this mounts on, it will totally take all the weight of anything we need. So it should, uh, yeah, see how it's gonna sit on there? It's gonna be wicked. It's gonna it's be awesome. Cool. It's gonna look really cool. But it mounts actually using the infotainment system. Um, it's got these big, heavy steel mounts that will go on there like a lot and then support the unit so join me as I rip this apart and try not to break anything all right so this is always the scary part when you've never done it before but we're actually going to rip this piece off well take it off but they say just pull back with pressure I've got a uh, tool and let's see what we can get done on here god I hate doing this kind of stuff without knowing and actually comes off as easy as they said wow. so yeah that's not too bad at all so these bolts are gonna be going here or the sorry the mounts are gonna be going on these bolts here uh, which are 10 mil so what I'm gonna do is remove those oh, wrong way. There we go. I'm gonna do one side at a time so I don't have to hold them all right, so we'll get these bolts out. And I'm gonna hold on to them, but I don't think we reuse them because we're, they're replaced with stainless steel bolts with spacers on them, so. Um, parts bag, you know, they're always fun. Uh, so yeah, spacer and nut, or sorry, bolt. And yeah. Let's see what we got. This piece will probably go. Oh, in between, probably. Of course it will. Okay. So these are cut out in a way so that they go around the vent. So you get that right in there. And the question of the day is... Oh yeah, okay, so that would make sense. So, ooh, I'm gonna start losing parts down the side of the seat, that's for sure. It wouldn't be good. Nope, not at all. So the practice is gonna be, we gotta actually get this, sort of mock it up, because we have to cut the, um, what'd you call it, I guess, this piece? The surround, I guess? But yeah, so we're gonna have to notch the top of these for this. So essentially we'll get this put in, I'll notch this, we'll cut it, and then we'll fit it, and then we got some, I've gotta re-pull this whole thing out so that we can run the wire and then put it all back in. It's essentially the plan, guys. Keesh. Yeah, we got stuff going on. More cutting. So, you guys ever get that part in the install when they don't tell you how you need ladies' fingers to get in and do this? Jeez, this is crazy. And I've got to take this on and off a few times, folks. Stay tuned. You might hear me swear. Okay, on the second side. Well, now you know. Yeah, now you know. It's not going to make it <laughs> My sausage Lance's fingers. Okay, so now we've dealt with those bolts. We saved you the colorful language. I'm gonna put these in, lining them up with the air ducts so that I can mark these. So, 
just sort of get them in a little bit. Fine enough. Right? Ish. As far as you're gonna go. Sharpie time. Sharpie time. And then I will mark on either side of this. Okay. That looks pretty good, I think. Then I know I'm gonna have to make a cut for the wiring here, but we're gonna have to go with the head unit, fish the wire in, and then I'll know roughly where that is. Sheesh. All right, time to cut. Hey guys, welcome back for the second time. Um, we're two weeks into installing this dash mount due to the fact that I borrowed my buddy's Dremel and it was missing some parts. So we went camping the next weekend and so I'm back doing it again. So this has gotta be the longest installed video ever, I think. Anyways, long story short, we're gonna get on this thing again. So we're gonna pull out the head unit and I'm gonna run some, this comes with, um, let me grab it here. This comes with a cable that adds two USB ports to the dash, which is gonna be huge. And to the bottom, it has two USB cables that you can plug into 12 volt or wherever. What I actually bought was a USB to 12 volt adapter. So I'm gonna wire it in. And then we have two extra bolts rather than taking away, or two extra outlets, I should say, rather than taking away the 12 volt. So. That's what we're gonna take there. So I'm gonna quickly take this head unit out. You guys have seen this before. I'm not gonna waste your time, but once I have it out, I'll show you how I'm gonna run the wire down. Okay guys, so we got the mounts undone. Just 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts as we discussed before. We're gonna pull this out. And the reason we're doing this is Oh, see the way that's gonna work? It's just gonna give me trouble. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna hit the window. All right. So we gotta run this wire in behind, like I said, for those USBs to reach that adapter for the, uh, the 12 volt. So I'm gonna push that down for now. And actually we're gonna have to sign off because I'm gonna have to get Joanne to sort of hold this while I feed it down. And I'm actually gonna, to make my life easier, when I feed it down, I'm gonna put a light down underneath so I can see a clear path through. So we'll be back in a bit again. Sorry about the signing out, but it's gonna be done. Oh, there it is. I got it. Got it. Ouch. Got it through? Got it through. Now I'll just stash it away where it won't be bothered. And then, we, oh, this thing's just a beast. All right, so I'll carefully put this all back into, this is gonna to wanna to come at it. That's the only problem. All right, done, done, done. But we still have to get those things behind. Remember those, how fun they were? Oh yes. Yes. Those were a joy. Those were more than a joy. They were ridiculous. But this is the last time once they're in they're in yeah other than maybe adjusting them but yeah it should be it because we did all that measuring and stuff the first time two weeks ago all right no these went behind the thing last time yes okay. all right so we're just gonna um, attach them back on yeah we're gonna start with this side obviously i think there's like really no way to them in there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like it's such an awkward thing, you don't want to lose it because they give you no spare of these. All right. Okay, that one's there. Oh, you're gonna wanna fall. All right, so we're just getting these snugged up. Oh, by the way, I'm on the other side. Hello from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just working away with these. Things. Little by little, we're gonna, we will get there. Step by step. I'm 
I'm trying to find, as Bob Ross says, a happy little something. I am not good with these finicky little things. You know what? Give me a big one inch bolt or whatever. But... They're pretty teeny. Yeah, they are actually. That's what we'll watch. We'll try our cutout first and see if that fits. And just make sure. All right, so I've notched it for the two support bars and also for those wires to go in there. Now, just for hoops and giggles, it is going to fit perfectly. Like a glove. Uh, I want a little big on that side, but I was going to see it once it's covered. Yep. So we're going to be perfect. Yeah, look at that. Everything is up against. Nice. Yeah, very nice. So we don't have to adjust anything, just tighten it? So, yeah, so now I just want to see... Oh my gosh, shut this down more. See, that's a little tight. Yeah, I shouldn't have pushed it in so far. Um, yeah. And I want to get this dust and stuff off that's got, so we're going to have to wipe that down. Which I've got the wipes here, so... We are good, but we'll quickly do that. I'll put these down. And then uh, we'll see how it fits. Back in a jiff. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to kind of, kind of do this a little bit. I just have to trust that that's gonna go. All right. Just have to be careful with that. It is in. Nice. It is in. Is it fitted? She's wires down. Oh, oh. too far. Oh, God, I push these a little too far. There you go. Get back in. My bad. Nice. So now we have a couple black colored bolts. I go in through the front. Go into the top ah. and hold it down. Metal is just so unforgiving when you're trying to fit it. Oh, no, we we'll past it. Well, let's be like a smart person and reach underneath and go for it. There we go. Nope, went past again. Should have given myself more wire. There we go. I think that's what was stopping me as I'm twirling into nothing. You'd think this would be like the easiest part of the install. Right? All right, guys. This was not as easy as they made it look in the uh, in the video, but I'm sure I'm sure that's standard with with everything. And are you kidding me? We're gonna get one more bolt that's not gonna give it's gonna give us a problem. So yeah. You know what, I'm gonna fight with this bolt and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. So we are at the last of the last here. These were not easy to align. I'm not gonna BS you guys. I think we fought for how long, Bev? Oh, 20 minutes maybe? I'd say more than that. You're an optimist. <laughs> but it's in. It looks great. It looks pretty badass actually. And I'm... Um, Regardless of the fighting, totally happy. There's so many spots to use. The extra USB like we were talking about. So what are these? Those are also mounts. mounts? It just screws in, yeah. Okay. Screws in and then you have the slider ones up top. Cool. So you have lots of options. But yeah, it is in. I, I, I don't even know what else to say because this thing actually started to get me a little angry. It, it was. It's an easy, I guess I would say, install, but the alignment of everything was just super challenging. I didn't think it'd actually be that difficult, but yeah. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.